Hey, how are you? Um, so, can you tell me a little history about Mi Madres, maybe some specialties? Uh, what makes this uh, Mi Madres unique? Yes, uh, in, 19, in 1992, I used to go have tacos everywhere, and I saw that the tacos was very inferior quality, very little, and I was looking everywhere and couldn't find a good taco back then. So I said, you know, I can do better than this. That's how it started. That's how Mi Madres got started, to do better tacos. And ever since then, you know, we we have gone through the same quality, the same amount of food that we put on our tacos, and the same quality. And that's that's how we might was born. Okay. So and you know, here in East Austin, um, the, you've been kind of like a mainstay uh, on Main Row, and people come back. So do you have regulars? Right, uh, right at that time, you know, the everybody said it wasn't a good location. I say, you know, people, if, if, you, if you have a, a good product, people will pop. So that's how I stay here, never move, never change my recipe. Because sometimes I have my doubts and say, I'm going to change my recipe because I'm glad I did. Yeah, that's good. And well, so uh, tell us about your recipes or maybe some specialties. Yes, a lot of my recipes come from, uh, come from, uh, from my family. A lot of the way we cook potatoes, the way we do we do our sauces, my mother's sauces like the ranchero sauce, our green chili sauce, our uh, mole, especially the mole. And, and of course, all the tacos that we make here, uh, the way we make the barbacoa, all of those play a little, you know, uh, play a big role on the preparation and the quality and why we're famous for. Okay. Uh, you know, one of my favorites is the machacado taco. Oh, definitely, so, definitely. Yeah. Machacado. You know, uh, back then I used to run over the border, cross the border, and get the machacado from there. Uh -huh. But I was, I started having my dogs. I don't know what kind of meat I'm getting, so I started making my own machacado. So I control the quality of the, uh, of the meat that I prepare here. So the machacado, I can assure that it's prepared to the high quality standards, high sanitation standards that the health department requires. Yeah. So, and then it makes me happy because now I can control the, the quality of the machacado. And that's why you see the difference. Yeah. on anybody else. But nobody has the recipe, the amount, of, the way we prepare the food. Um, going from uh, from our sausage, we make our own sausage, and chacado, of course, and pretty much all our sauces are made here. Okay. And so, so that's one of my uh, favorite things, because I, I grew up in a border town in El Paso, and we get a lot of machacados down there, yeah. you know, yeah, from either side, it's, it's good, so it's one of my favorites. So actually, this is one of, um, the only place in Austin you can get a machacado taco. That's correct, that's correct. We have our dads in the beginning, a, little, a lot of people didn't know what machacado was. What's machacado? We start telling all the, you know, the we dry beef or we put scramble eggs, we put the gallo, and that's, that's what machacado yeah. is. But, uh, you know, from then on, it started going, gaining popularity. Now we sell lots of tons and tons of machacado tacos. Yeah. yeah, that's good, that's good. Yes. So maybe uh, Edgar can, sh can show us how, how he makes uh, the yes. machacado taco? Yeah. Machacado taco? First, we're gonna heat up the tortilla, get that ready. We have some of our fresh homemade machacado that we make here. And that's a secret recipe too. I'm gonna get that oiled up a little bit. Sauteed up a little bit, guys. Get tortilla. And then you want to add your beaded eggs to it. Here, me mother, we make our tacos kind of big, so. Go. 
belt up on it. Put it in the basket. Hot sauce. We're ready to go, guys. A zero, please. Uh, I would like a uh, uh, party yeah. 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 And I would have three months. 